25 million Americans are still on alert in the worst tornado outbreak of the season, a long and dangerous night ahead. Just hours ago, this was the scene, a large twister striking Tupelo, Mississippi, estimated at a mile wide. And this is after dozens of tornadoes were bearing down in the Midwest and South. And one of the most powerful roared through the outskirts of Little Rock, Arkansas, carving a trail on the ground for 40 miles. And leaving images like these, stunned families who barely survived their shattered homes reduced to splinters. Our coverage begins with ABC's Alex Perez in the path of destruction tonight. Alex. Diane, tonight there are tornado watches and warnings popping up all around us. The cleanup has started here, but tonight we're getting our first real look at the destruction. And as you look around through this debris, you see pieces of people's lives like this mangled stroller right here. And you also see just how powerful this storm was. Cars crushed just like tin cans. Tonight, massive, violent tornadoes on the ground in Mississippi, demolishing buildings and knocking out power lines in Tupelo. In Mayflower, Arkansas, this bird's eye view shows the destruction from above. Here's the town before the tornado just a few months ago, and here it is after. In Mayflower, the storm twisted and piled semis on top of each other. The Mulligan family saw their neighborhood in Valonia, Arkansas for the first time today completely flattened. We just held hands and then we saw the whole back of the house go. During the storm, they huddled in the closet together and prayed. I definitely didn't think we were going to make it. Um, I just remember hearing my dad yell that, please God, you saved my family. Mm. But he did. But he did, yeah, he did. In suburban Little Rock, rescue crews worked through the night searching for survivors. These stunning images captured by Tammy Moffitt watch as one woman is pulled from the rubble alive with her dog, and then two other survivors surface. The house was moved off the foundation and they were buried under debris, so they had to actually dig them out. It was dramatic, it was sad. From Nebraska to Louisiana, twisters turned towns upside down Sunday a tornado in Baxter Springs, Kansas, cut an eight-mile path of destruction all the way to Oklahoma. An EF2 150 yards wide with wind speeds up to 135 miles an hour. It's crazy. I don't see how anybody could live through that. For the Mulligan family, a sign of hope amidst so much despair. Their daughter's prized high school softball medal found half a block kind of away from where their know. home once stood. And tonight, this community is coming together for hours now. We've seen people from all across the area coming together, working through these piles of debris, salvaging whatever they can, keeping those key six so that they can at least have some of those memories and save them with them. But, Diane, tonight, the road ahead, the cleanup here, still a long one. But Diane. a lot of strength around you tonight, Alex. Thank you so much.